ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Scare Actor Appreciation Month on the Mindless Horror Podcast. Um, another great scare actor from the Ghost Town Streets is joining us today. We got AJ, and he has been on a freaking roll this year. AJ, how you doing, man? I'm doing all right. You guys are hyping me up way too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mediocre at best. <laughs> nah, you, you've been you've been killing it this season, well, man. Thanks, and as, as well as everyone else in Ghost Town. Ghost Town. Yeah. If you guys don't know by now, we've hyped it up. It's probably our favorite scare zone yeah. this season. If you didn't visit it, shame on you. Yeah, if you didn't, vi- I mean, how can you miss it though? When you walk in, it's right yeah. there, man. Yeah, yeah it's the f- yeah. Well, unless you go right, unless you go right, yeah. Then you're in the hollow. But nine out of ten times, people are gonna see that giant ghost town sign and be like, "Oh, it's uh, go there. <laughs> Let's try that. Yeah, Let's try that. What's that place? Yeah, I want to go there. Um, so AJ, you want to just tell the audience a little bit about your character and who you did, yeah. who you were, and a little bit um, of background. Yeah, my, my name's AJ. Uh, I am Judas the Barber in Ghost Town. Um, he happened completely on accident. His backstory is basically he uh, had everyone in Calico in his chair at one point in time, and they entrusted him with their secrets. Uh, unfortunately, so did the mayor. Um, the mayor uh, gave him a bit too much trust and felt that he knew a bit too much so the night of um, Sarah Marshall's hanging, uh, he cut out Judas's tongue only because he needed to keep him alive because he's the only person he trusted with his hair. Wow. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's a... I don't want you to talk. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you saying anything, but fix me up. Yeah, you know, yeah so... but you have a straight razor, so I don't know if I would trust one. With the straight razor. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the character, like, I feel like any, any hot character any hot monster with their character it's always evolving it's never finished i am i just now this season gave a name to my blade which is atonement you you guys caught the made got the video of oh, yeah. uh, me just you know kind of sending she wolf out that was a that was a good one <laughs> that, was, that was a good one she got was, a close shave yeah real real close yeah real close um, one of my favorite things that you've done this season, and it's it's reminiscent to like what the old style barbers do, which Sammy was telling me, is every time you'd get a scare, usually you'd always, yeah, and that's reminiscent to the old style barbers, at least what we thought is them sharpening the blade in a way. Yeah, the, the yeah, and that's the that's the sound you would hear when they'd sharpen the blade. Yeah, that kind of that was just I wanted it. I was bored. Um, it was a Thursday. Usually on Thursday nights, it's it's a slower crowd, so you kind of have a bit more of an opportunity to, to work on something different, something new. Definitely. And just that sound of scraping is like a knife being sharpened. Yeah. And I I can I decided to you know mess with it a bit more because I was I was following this group of people and I was doing that and I kept doing it. And I watch their shoulders just rise up. And I'm like, oh, this works. <laughs> and so I just kept doing it. And it, it looked cool. I hope it looked cool. It sounded cool. It looked it cool. Sounded, yeah. At least it yeah. sounded cool. It, it sounded was cool. It looked cool. Yeah. And... It was I one really of those things after, the life. after the finish, you were just. Yeah. It was definitely like, um, yeah. It was something cool to do. And it just sounded really cool. And it was definitely, it, I felt like it fit the character. So. Definitely. Like um, yeah, your your character is one, the, the dress, the way he dresses, very slick, the nice hat and everything. Yeah, because I, I actually did some research um, on 1830s old style barbers, old style barbers yeah. and like anybody with a profession back in the West during that time, they didn't have like a uniform. Yeah. It was just a, a shirt, tie, and a vest. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, some had the, the white kind of over shirt. That buttoned up the standard barber kind yeah. of look, yeah. But it wasn't until a bit later, and even back then, uh, I think barbers were also doctors. Yeah. Um, there's a whole thing with the whole, like the blue and blue. red. Yeah, I forgot it, but if I remember it, I'll send it to you. Uh, but they were just normal people. They just had their normal attire on, so there was no real like uh, identifying outfit or attire that said, "Oh." He's a barber. Definitely. It was just, or maybe the apron, which is what I added. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, obviously, tell me. Yeah, that actually happened the last night. I was like, that's really cool. Like, I don't know what. Like in that moment when I'm like, getting ready to, you know, send. Hang it up for the season. Yeah, yeah. hang it up for for the for the season. Go back into put Judas back in the in the grave. And I was like, why didn't I do that? <laughs> like, why didn't I have this before? But 
<laughs> yeah, uh, actually, that's my. I have to plan to get another knife made next year because I lost my favorite knife earlier this season. Uh -oh. or, yeah, my favorite blade. Uh, but that one will do. How long have you been scare acting for? Uh, this past season was my twelfth season. Twelfth season. So what'd you what'd you do when you started? Were you in mazes and then went out to yeah. streets? Yeah. Uh, two thousand eight was my first year, and I opened quarantine uh, with my buddy Frankie. And he's actually the reason I accidentally, or not, like, I didn't intentionally want to work on I had no, no interest in working on it. <laughs> um, but we opened that, and then in 2009, I went back to quarantine, closed it down. Uh, fun fact about 2008 quarantine, we were the first maze, first movie maze, to win the Golden Haunt Award back then. Yeah. And we were the last one, until they brought it back, I think it was last year. Uh, 2009, back to quarantine. Uh, 2010, there was this really cool thing called Scare Force, oh, nice. uh, which was a group of people that were just, in my eyes, filler for mazes. Uh, yeah. If somebody called out or if they didn't have too many people, people just dropped out, uh, they would send us to a different maze every night, which is really cool. It was a makeup position, and it was you're either, you're on, you're in. Bobos uh, Thursday, then you're in Virus Z on Friday. So you got to kind of switch it up then. Yeah, and okay. that's why 2011 came. I felt very well rounded, so I auditioned for Boardwalk and I got it. So I was in Boardwalk from 2011 to the, uh, 2011 to the, uh, 2015, I want to say. Oh wow! And then 2016, 2017, I was in CS, and then 2018 to this past season was Ghost Town. Nice. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned going... Now, that was the first year I ever actually went to the haunt was in 2008. 2008? Okay. And uh, I was like... I was think it was in fucking like fifth grade. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> Funny, hang, hang on. He said, don't say that. <laughs> oh, man. Funny enough, um, I realized that this season I've been working the entire length of a high school career. There you go. Yeah. 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 Uh, there is a wonderful artist by the name, her, hash, uh, her Instagram is Kenzie Crow. Yeah, yeah, we follow her. Really great artist. Yep, yep. Um, I put two and two together, and I remember I was walking, and I was like, I, I, like when I first started, you were probably in first grade, <laughs> and now you're a senior. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also my, my left foot and ankle, and my left knee, and my lower hip, or my right just to the left to the right of my tailbone like to remind me that i've been doing this for 12 years <laughs> <laughs> um yeah yeah 2008 was the first year i went i lasted yeah. two hours and i left lasted two hours what do you mean lasted two hours explain you gotta elaborate i was terrified as a kid <laughs> i i went well, through yeah, one fifth grade yeah i went through one maze and then i left and that was i believe the 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 viva las vegas one Okay, I mean, they, I, that was pretty gnarly. Yeah, that was pretty pretty cool. That was the first one I ever went in too. I forget. I don't know how old I was, but yeah, the first time I went to haunt, my sister took me with her boyfriend, and I didn't want to go into any maze. And, Sounds about right. Yeah, yep. I didn't. Yeah. I um, I just watched everyone in, on streets. I then redeemed myself in 2011 and took it a step further and went to Horror Nights. Okay. And I made it. And from then, from 2011 till now, I've just loved haunts. It's, it's just been a thing. Yeah. I, I, you and I have a similar upbringing with, with haunt. Um, the second time I went, uh, it was a lot easier because it was just like, okay, I'm just going to go and do it. Yeah. I'm, I'm here. I'm just going to go and do it. And I did it. I was like, that yeah. scared, but it wasn't fun. that bad. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. And then, um, yeah, but I never... I never planned to, to work this event. Uh, that wasn't in the cards, or I didn't really think I'd do. I'd do it. I only showed up. Uh, my friend Frankie was camping out. This is back when you had to camp out to, yeah. to work. And uh, he actually, I was on my way home from work, and he hit me up, and he said, hey, could you do me a favor? Could you pick up some food, and I'll pay you back when you get here? I'm like, cool, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm at Knott's. I'm camping out for, for Scary Farm. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So picked up picked him up some food, went over, and then... Um, hung out for a little bit. It was like six when I got there, and then it was nine, then it was ten, then it was one, and then one in the morning. He just looks at me and says, "You might as well just, you might as well just work." I'm like, 
okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Might, yeah, yeah, might as well. Him and I work the same maze, and I just haven't stopped. So it's been. It was. A, it was the best mistake you ever made in your life. Yeah. <laughs> a wonderful accident. A wonderful <laughs> accident. There you go. Um, so lately on the show, we've been asking people just to kind of give us a little. If you remember a lot of some of your best scares this season, and there's been a lot I've seen like from everyone. Yeah. That did done floored people. Just made people run. I mean, there's there's obviously going to be those crowds where you're not. They're not the best crowds every night, but yeah, I got you. That's how you kind of you know you just. You, what's been your favorite scares this season? Oh, it's 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 honestly a bit of a blur because you just you you go and you get a good one, but then as soon as that's done, you're off to the next one. Yeah. Um. There was, there was a couple, uh, in Market Street, and they were sitting on one of the planners, and, I. Because it's it's kind of like you're putting your toe in the water to test it to see if they if they react and yeah. if it's a good reaction then yeah you go with it. Um, luckily it was a good reaction. Um, I just kind of got closer slowly and she got a lot more tense and a lot more into her boyfriend's arms and I just kind of dropped down and I gave a little spiel where I I was I forget what I was saying like. Um, because Judas, he knows secrets. He and he he he, he takes a lot of people's fears and wishes and nightmares by taking their tongue. Like it's on there. Like yeah. he takes it, uses it to speak, and he knows. So I was kind of doing that whole spiel. Like give me your fears, give me give me your nightmares. Let me know what your wishes are. Give me it, or I'm I'm going to take it from you. And at yeah. that point, I take out my I take out the tillament and kind of brandish it in front of him. And they got freaked out, but. You know, it's you gotta understand that like you can't be there all night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a whole park to scare. Yeah. yeah, and so I gave a whole thing that you know next time I see you, I won't be so kind, and I got up and left. And then it was about maybe ten, fifteen minutes later, I come back around market and they're still there, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay. So I went back in. I slid up to them this time. She nearly fell into the planner. She almost <laughs> took her boyfriend with her. And it was just, at that point, they were like, okay, we're leaving. I'm like, yeah. And <laughs> that was fun. But a, a lot of the times, I'm, I'm, I'm getting good scares. I don't really pay attention to those, but I'm noticing everyone else around me getting yeah. like, really good scares. Like, holy crap, hostile. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's, yeah, let's. <laughs> Let's let's talk a little bit about hostile. A little, okay, hostile is an enigma wrapped in a conundrum, <laughs> delivered in a KFC bucket. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is honestly. Uh, I know that he's won Monster of the Year. We talked about this earlier. Everyone at, at the end of the year, we all vote yeah. Monster of the Year, all that stuff. He and he's well deserved, and he's he hasn't lost a step. Um, he is just intense with everything he does. He is very in his character when he's yeah. out there he's a asylum i think it was either you or seth that were uh one one night we were there he goes yeah when he goes backstage it takes him a minute just to get out of character oh yeah i've seen it <laughs> firsthand sometimes he'll go will come up in the break room and he's still mumbling whatever he was mumbling outside mm -hmm. and i'll call him by his name and he'll look at me and i'll call him by his name again he goes what <laughs> But he he's fun and Merrick, him oh, and Merrick going oh, off dude. on each other. I got Merrick on the last night. Okay, did he, you get the he, thing? He got him in my and... face. Oh, I, I, and yeah, I was I was waiting for it all season, and what had happened was I yelled out at him. I'm like, <laughs> Merrick, let the voices in. Stopped, turned, looked oh, at no. me. Came that was right your first me. mistake. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at me and came towards me. And I didn't have a reaction. I just looked at him and started laughing like sadistically. Like yeah. it's like he put something inside of me that just couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't control. And he would. And then he fucking did the can and left. That, and then I looked yeah. at Sammy. I'm like, what fucking just happened? <laughs> I really wish I could have filmed it too. Literally, the one time my phone freezes, have to uh, restart my phone. Yeah. Yeah. Can't load like Instagram or camera to like get the, this in. Yeah, the scary thing about Merrick is you don't know which voice is talking to him at that point in time, and he he's also another really great character out there and on Ghost Town. I mean, just Ghost Town in general is just full of really creative people um, that are always evolving their characters and just 
giving it everything they've got. And if it's not something one night, if they come up with something, they're like, oh, I'm going to try that tomorrow. The th I remember actually, it was, I think this past weekend, maybe it had been Halloween, he had a, he got in a fight with the, the, the bull. The bull. And you were there kind of... Yeah, I remember that. Uh, you were there kind of <laughs> cheering it on, and my dumbass was at the bench, and I was like, how's he on? I got 20 on Merrick. <laughs> that, that's always fun. I, I really like... I, I really enjoy just vibing with everyone else. Like, um, I, I didn't know um, Bo's uh, character story. Uh, I kind of remember Merrick's. I mean, like, if you're watching this, dude, correct me if I'm wrong. Um... But I think in the jug is his brother, and he's communicating with his brother. It's some sort of entity in there, and it's fueling Merrick's. That just that's interesting. Yeah, wow. And so I did not even. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be completely wrong. But that's what I remember vaguely. I just, uh, I you know, it's just rocks. <laughs> yeah, it's really just nuts and bolts. It's like just, what's up here? Yeah. <laughs> no, but that that's a cool lore to that is if the fact that if it is a, yeah. a, an entity of some sort that he's communicating uh, with. Yeah, and... a lot of like really great characters have some of the really. Like, just the coolest backstories. Yeah, we're actually going to have him on the show Wednesday, I believe. Oh, cool. Have fun with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Every, like, he's... You're going to get some real good banger stories from him. Actually, that was the funny thing, is at the end of... Uh, on, on Saturday, when we saw him, he was in his jersey, and he was in the front, you know, mm -hmm. talking... We talked to him for a little bit, and I'm like, yeah, we're just going to... He's like, I'm going to be honest with you, dude. I barely remember anything. He goes, I'm so in the moment that... He's... He's a lot like uh, Hostel, where he'll go back, and he's just still... <sighs> You know, and it's it. You got to remember to give him a minute. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like, he's not gonna like just grab your head, tear it off, and drink your blood. Uh, but he's 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 always at a hundred. He's always giving it a hundred and ten. And that's one thing I really you know admire about him is he's just giving it everything when he's out there. You hear Merrick before you see him. Oh yeah. You know, you're you just you're, like I remember every time, every fucking time. <laughs> I'm out either walking through fog or a birdcage. I, I'm just doing my thing, scaring, and then suddenly I just hear, Oh! I'm like, where is he? <laughs> you either hear that or you hear like, oh, you know? And I'm like, alright, he's around, he's somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Or that was the same thing when we saw Hostel turn the corner, I'm like, oh shit, here comes the fucking madhouse. His little just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just do it and then just stop. I love when he heads, but he headbutts people. He doesn't like actually physically hit them, but he just goes, whoosh! <laughs> yeah. I've one. seen the headbutt pole, just... Oh yeah, repetitively. Yeah, I think one of the funniest things I had with him was with the uh, the doctor with the saw. Oh yeah, virus. Yeah, yeah, and he we were sitting in front of the candy store in Ghost Town, and mm -hmm. he comes up and starts like sawing my leg, and and Hostel comes up and and starts you know playing with him a little bit, and the doctor was like, he's the reason why you lost your eye, he's the reason why you don't have an eye, That's so and cool. Hostel was like, no. No, no, that's no, so cool. No, no, and he just took it off and scares him. He's like, God, and I was just like, Oh my god, that's really rad. I was like, What just happened right now? It's fun when we get to riff out there with everybody, yeah. It's really cool. Um, we've talked a little bit about getting into character. Obviously, we've talked about American Hostel, yeah, taking a few seconds to get out. How do you get into character every night? Is there music you listen to? Is there like a mindset you you get to just you sit in silence? There's or? definitely, I guess, there's, there's a mindset, there's definitely music. Uh, I'm a strong believer in music influencing any type of art form. Not to say that we're like artists, but like it'll influence you. It'll get whatever emotion you need to convey out, like the song, the lyrics. Um, I do have a bit of a playlist I listen to on the way there just to kind of get ready. And then um, just, I don't know, I just kind of go out there and it's a snowball effect. It's like, all right, first scare, second scare, third scare, third scare, and it's just building up, building up, building up. And then eventually I'm just, I'm Judas, you know, and um, sometimes there is a little bit of a moment of zen. Um, we do have little powwows, uh, all of us collectively as, uh, as Ghost Town with our, with our leaders. Kind of little and, energy games and yeah, stuff like, like that. Little yeah, little chants here and there, you know, oh, yeah. just get pumped and just, honestly, yeah, music. Music is definitely what's your, good What's your go-to, you like metal, rap? <laughs> um, yeah, punk, hardcore. Punk, nice. um, there's a band called uh, Turnstile that yeah. I listen to. I know Turnstile. Yeah, and uh, there's a there's a hip hop artist named Old Man Saxon. 
Okay. Uh, his 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 song. Uh, there's he has a song called "I've Had It." Okay. And lyrically, that was just a, a real hyped up song. That one I listened to constantly. Um, and then I believe it was the Armed, uh, with a song called "Fortune's Daughter," which is another good just blood pumping song. And sometimes I listen to like. Dude, there's there's also like a really good band called Radical Face. They're super mellow. Like it's just it's a weird, like you'd think like something like this would require like Slipknot or Meshuggah or like yeah. Mastodon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But like no, sometimes it's a, just you no know, really mellow. I at one point there was what's her name? She had uh, uh, Florence and the Machine. There's there's a I forget what it's called, but there was a song where it was just like yeah, I can go out there and scare right now. Yeah. But music is definitely a big influence, and 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 those bands do a lot. Um, also, energy drinks. That's what. I, that's, what we, <laughs> that's a lot of what we've been hearing this week. Uh, this, uh, this, 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 the, this. The, you're the third person. Yeah. Energy drinks have just been, of course. Uh, I think Ruth and Jackie were saying they've mm-hmm. done a ton of they a ton it's of bangs. The bangs yeah. The C4 is C4. basically currency. Yeah. At, at Haunt, um, but I just this season I just kind of discovered uh, organic rock star. Which with cane sugar is the green one. Yeah, those ones I can I can I can drink. For, I can just mainline it. Just get, set me up with an IV drip. Good. Um, Fucking candy manic. Yeah, basically I'm pretty sure that's what he has in there. He's <laughs> also a guy that's just I I know milk. I, I've known like him and I we started in well we worked boardwalk with each other. He's definitely he's done done a lot of growing. He's his character right now. The candy man is just. On Did you point. see the double candy man on the final night? The yeah, the double yeah. candy man. Yeah, I saw that. That's hilarious. <laughs> I was like, what in the actual fucking multiverse shit is this? I was like, what is going on here? That was fun. There's a lot of, like, a lot of shenanigans usually happen uh, around Halloween, and that's, that's, that's to be expected around, you know? And, um, no, that's the, I think for me, though, I mean, as a guest, yeah. it makes it, makes it, like, a, a really fun environment, though. Yeah. You know? Like, because, like, you know, throughout the entire year, you're seeing, of course, everybody, you know, scaring, and that's so that's always fun too. Yeah, and it's within character too. So yeah. It's like, like so with with Ruth, the 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 orphan, I Judas took like I. It's canon that Judas considers the orphan like a cat. Mm-hmm. Um, Judas is a cat man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, only because she hang, he lets her hang out at the shop because she won't leave his porch. Yeah. Um, and he feeds her scra- uh, scalps. Uh, just because, and so I think on Halloween I showed her how to murder somebody <laughs> with atonement. And, yeah, <laughs> and so it's just like I stab him. And it was it was on, wasn't on guests. Yeah. It was on actual fellow talent. Uh, I remember I think Bones was one of them. But I was like I stab him. She stab him. They fall. All right now loot the body. She check their pockets. <laughs> right now wipe the blood, and then she go to wipe it on herself. Like no 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 not on you on them. <laughs> And she's like, okay, okay. I'm like, do you got it? And she's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool. Wait for the next one. Then we'd wait for another match. <laughs> do the same thing. But it, it, it was a lot of fun. That was yeah. fun. Because, uh, yeah, the, the the night before, I think that was the first, uh, She-Wolf killed Orphan. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah, no, they. that was actually a really cool little story. Really cool story. And yeah. then... Um, the next night, yeah. you guys executed the... Because that kind of fell into the bit, into Judas's kind of story. And like, like I said, like, no character is always is is finished you know it's never completed you always come up with different ideas um judas knows a lot of the sins that the town of the townsfolk of calico has committed he knows their secrets so he kind of he created atonement Mm -hmm. for the to punish those and because it's the orphan it's it's a kid and, and judas does have some ties to the orphan like he's he's taken care of her before and he's helped her out so he finds out that she wolf is responsible for her death so he's like all right like you've got to pay for this yeah and so. you guys got a bunch of people to come out and do uh that which was cool we were actually yeah. in the right place at the right time um, i almost completely forgot that i was doing that <laughs> it was like five minutes before you're like shit like i because we get sweaty and then like when we dry no matter where we're at we get cold oh yeah you know and so i'm, I'm just like sitting there in the break room just like ah this sucks I'm looking like oh, I gotta go back, and I'm like oh, I'm gonna be like five minutes late, and then I was like, wait, shit, there's that thing, and so I just throw my mask on, get my gloves on, and run out. And luckily, I went over there, and I saw everyone. And like, there's always whenever something's about to happen, whenever we have something planned, there's always just like, that awkward like walk around, like when yeah. are we doing this, when are we doing this, when are we doing this. So like, I'm like all right, and so the saloon girls, just first off, 
they kicked so much ass this year. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. Like holy crap! Um, but they they were like they were in it. They went and they grabbed her and they were just like they weren't like delicate at all. They were just dragging her, pushing her. I'm like this is cool. <laughs> uh, and then I didn't know what I was gonna say. I, I'm kind of more of the the type of guy which is like it'll come to me. Yeah, it'll be yeah. there. And so it did. And it was I don't know why Jackie wanted to do it. I just knew that she wanted me. She wanted Judas to be the one to take her out. I hope that's not like a subtle hint to like her not coming back. A lot of people ask me, like, is no, she not coming back? Like, I'm coming back. She's okay, I was gonna back. say, I'm pretty sure that I don't, I don't know what she'll be doing next year, but she'll, I, she, she, she's had such a great time. I, there was a thing where, um, like every weekend since mm. I knew her the the most, yeah, I would text her like, "You did great this weekend." You know, I love the character development. We'd had full on conversations every single yeah. weekend, and she had such a great time. Yeah. I don't doubt in my mind she'll be back next year. Yeah, I mean, her, her, her werewolf. She's gained a lot of fans too this yeah. year. Yeah, like a lot of fans. Yeah, and and not to take away, not to say that like which one's your favorite dog? That one. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but just her overall presence and just seeing her in character as she wolf, it's power. Yeah. Like that's all I could see. She and was. She yeah. That's what she was telling us on the podcast. Like we asked her how she did the how, how she did the sniff. Yeah. She goes, once I put on that mask, once I put on those gloves, I'm not Jackie anymore. It's yeah. It's, She's it's like, different. I'm I am completely someone different, and yeah. I'm in that character, and I'm like, that's fucking awesome. It, yeah, it, it's definitely kind of, it's. I, I agree with that. Like, yeah. Once I, anybody that put, puts on this whole on costume, shirt, tie, vest, or whatever, mask, makeup, you look at yourself in the mirror, and you're like, I'm not me. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I'm gone. <laughs> Go well, to sleep. One, one, one really cool thing you did was, I think it was the last night, we were in Kmart, and you just started throwing out everyone's scent. <laughs> started rambling. Yeah, that what was, made a, you, what that made was you that just... Friday night. That was, a, yeah. <laughs> that was like a good like improvisation, because then yeah. I remember texting you that same night. I was like, where did that come from? <laughs> it Honestly, with, with Judas last year, I wanted to do something different. Um, when I was a clown, I was very vocal. Mm -hmm. I was very animated. With Judas, I was very, my first year, very, like, creepy, and, you know, I didn't have a tongue, so I was gargling and spitting everywhere. Yeah. And I just thought, like, okay, well, I want to I wanna see what I can do. Like, I'm the barber. I know all their secrets. What are they going to do, kill me? I, <laughs> nothing in Calico stays dead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to, I'm going to air it out, you know, to anyone that sees. And I, I, I know, uh, I believe... Joe and Kira, they were uh, our rookies this year. I was telling, I was going off about like how their characters are bandits and they kind of went with like a whole Bonnie and Clyde uh, type situation. And I was talking about um, <laughs> how they robbed the bank, they got caught up. Um, Kira got uh, Kira's character got shot, and Joe got to the hotel decided to kill Kira, take the loot, at the same time Sarah Marshall casted her curse, he leaves, he gets gunned down, he comes back, finds out Kira's back as well, and so, like, that's a little awkward, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, um... Just, just, yeah. You can imagine just walking out, hey, remember when I shot you? Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's forget about that. Uh, but they had, like, a similar, a similar, um, story. I remember talking to them about it, like, oh, like, if that works, please take it and uh, I was trying to figure out what was going on with Bo and, and, and Merrick and I because I write um, when I'm not at work or if I'm not at haunt and if I have any spare time I'm, I'm writing mm -hmm. and so I'm always kind of like kind of thinking like that'd be a cool idea or that'd be a cool idea and just if I know their character I will feed off of what they are like with Merrick I was yelling at him like which voice are you going to listen to now Merrick yeah you know, I noticed what that what are they that saying was, to you now I Merrick? think when you, when you guys were circling around um, that fight it really brought that kind of lore to life yeah um, where you guys were just fueling them mm -hmm. where you guys were just kind of like get you know get up get up you're yeah not, you're not done and I really thought that brought your characters more to life I really enjoyed stuff like that, that like because there there's there's not a gray area but there is, they always ask that, like for us, we have to portray who we are, mm -hmm. what we do. It, it's a little difficult at times because some people just come in and they see a monster, a, a zombie, a gruesome. So I wanted to be able to try and 
help guests understand who Merrick is, who Hostel is, who Virus is. You know, like, I mean, you don't... The bride's just a complete badass, so you don't really need, yeah. you know, she's any like like explanation. Of the event, yeah. I mean, yeah, you, she's you see her complete power. Such a nice uh, person too. I've, yeah, we've actually gotten to like we've texted her a couple times on Instagram. Yeah. Very nice person. We try Absolutely. to get her on, but she's been busy with you know personal stuff this yeah. next month. So like I was like I completely understand. Yeah. We just want to know. We just want to let you know that we thank you for doing what you do. She's but absolutely she's such cool. a nice person. Yeah. Way too cool. Um, but yeah, like characters like the bride. Like I, I would love to figure out, you know, how to do what I did with Merrick and them, but with her. But like, I don't want to fuck that up. <laughs> yeah. well, I, and yeah. I think the thing with her is like she has to constantly be on the move. Yeah. Because of how big of a character she, she is. floats, dude. Yeah. yeah. She floats. Yeah. <laughs> it's majestic. Yeah. It's pretty intense. Uh, I, my, my, my. Uh, me and Samuel were talking about it yesterday. She's smiling all night. Can you imagine how like sore her mouth is like the next day dude <laughs> just the cheeks just like like she, does, she doesn't want to freaking smile like the rest of the year <laughs> i get that no i get that yeah it's yeah just, I, I i feel like she puts on that smile for like the entire hot season and i'm like dude you're afterwards you got to be like so sore in your cheekbones uh, i mean i'm sure there's some sort of conditioning like just kind of like somebody you just go yeah. on you know like yeah. but she's just she's She's a badass, dude. Like she goes out there and she does what she does and she does it real fucking good. Yeah, Ooh. she's and she's amazing. We've like, we've seen a yeah. lot of her this season and she does that eerie scream. Yeah, like there's a lot of like oh dude, um, uh, Lucy and Billy. Yeah, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. If they're not, but they're again two of the nicest people yeah. that you'll ever meet. Absolutely, and I'm surprised like they're like their limbs are still on their joints with how they contort out there. Yeah, like, they're like they have probably like. There are no, no other tag team that's like really, up there. yeah. They're super quick too. Oh yeah, they're yeah. taking Naomi, laps. Uh, Lucy, yeah. she's super fast. Oh yeah, you know, and she has this just like she's a little powerhouse too. Like she has this presence where it's just like you don't really expect it, but as soon as you hit, like she you, you, she hits you with it, mm -hmm. you're like fuck. I'm sorry. Okay, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> but yeah, like there's like a, going back to before there's a shit ton of great talent out there. Oh, yeah, there really and, is. And, yeah. and then you feed off of that, so it just makes you want to be more. Definitely. And that's one of the reasons why we brought you on today, because we felt you were one of those great talents. Oh, thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. definitely. We, uh, we, had a, we had a lot of fun with your character this season, and um, we were so fucking... I, I was in a straight depressed mode driving home from Han on, on Saturday. Like, I don't oh, want this to end. <laughs> I get that. Like, this was the first year where I felt that. Because um, I just felt like I had a really good year. I think everyone had a really good year. I had a lot of fun with everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, I love performing for you guys, getting some scares you guys can watch and laugh at. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and just, you know, it was, it was one of those moments where it was like 12, 12, 15. And I was about to go back because I'm off the streets at that time. And I just I was like, I don't fucking want to. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think I hung out for another like 10 minutes and got a couple more slides in. But yeah, it's, it was the first year where it was like extra bittersweet. Because usually it usually is. Yeah. You know, because like this is a form of therapy for some people. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's a very good outlet. And so it's just like, ah, I got to wait a whole like other like fucking year. Yeah. Um, there was one thing I wanted to talk to you about too, and I don't know if you remember it. Um, but there was that one night we were hanging out in Kmart, mm. and do you remember that like couple that was taking pictures, and you were just kind of walking around them, and like you went up to them, and then you came back to us. You're like, <coughs> what is going on? Yeah, that was weird because like, <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> this was actually kind of the first year where I would see people just taking photo ops right in the middle of like Fog Alley or Kmart. Yeah. And like I kind of understood it, like it's, yeah. it's you got the floodlight there, and yeah. it looks like a really cute silhouette. But it's just like, no, <laughs> no. You're like, what are you do? What is going on? It was funny because I, I remember sliding out, and I got like the boyfriend, and the girlfriend just looked at me like, oh yay, yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what what advice would you give to those who want to become scare actors one day? Um. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. Mm -hmm. um, it is ab an absolute fun job. It is. It is. It's. It's. You. You don't get paid for anything like this anywhere else, really, unless like you know Queen Mary or Horror Nights. But mm -hmm. um, for me, you know, Hot's gonna always have a uh, a special place. But you've got to understand that certain nights are gonna be a lot rough, a lot rougher than other nights. Yeah, you're gonna find crowds that are not 
as nice or as polite as the crowd before. Mm -hmm. So that's something you're gonna need to definitely realize that it's you're gonna have to have some tough skin to be able to work this event. Definitely. Because, um, and if it's something that you really want to do, try it. Uh, if you do have street, you know, if you want to go on the streets, either any of the cl the Clown Town, the Hollow, uh, Ghost Town, Forsaken, um, I would suggest doing a maze first. That's what I've been hearing a lot is just to get that kind of experience yeah. as to getting in the maze, mm -hmm. kind of getting that feel for it, and then when you're ready, because I, and this is a thing that we talk about on the podcast a lot is N neither mazes nor streets they don't no matter what you work in there's yeah. not a bad place I think they're both great in their own way yeah and honestly I think what was it I was having a conversation with some friends about this and people's their draw is the mazes mm -hmm. it, it is the maze yeah you know like oh waxworks it's a new maze you know origins it's a new maze like they go for the mazes yeah we're there like we, we have people that enjoy watching us like you two for example yeah. um, but I have there's no reason why there's no shame in working a maze. No shame. Yeah, a lot of the big big vets on Ghost Town, like the the, the iconic characters started out working at mazes. Mm -hmm. You know, like I did um three years in mazes and I th I feel like that was a good enough it was just good enough time to be like, Okay, I think I know what I'm doing and then go out the streets. Because even then, even if you work like three years in mazes, it's still a bit of a, of a shot going out in the streets because it's so open. Yeah. You know, there's there's no setup scare you can do. Yeah. Um, there's no curtain you can run through. You kind of got to improvise everything yeah, as you go. Yeah. You're definitely pretty much improvising. And then you got to learn timing. You've got to learn. There's different tactics you can learn. You know, there's like everyone thinks that it's just boom, scare. But like there's other things you can do. Like... There's a distraction scare. There's the you know false alarm scare. There's all the different things that you pick up on that you're fam you familiarize yourself with in mazes, and then when you're out there on streets, you're like, oh, this is kind of like that. So if I do if I tweak it this way, I can probably scare this person. Um, I would just I mean everyone wants to be a street monster. Everyone wants to be a slider, um, and that's cool. That's awesome. But I would definitely suggest that at the very least one year. Of I'll mazes. tell you this: I don't want to be a slider. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too big. I'm too big for it. Yeah. I think I'm more of the uh, distraction, as you will. Gotcha. As I'd be the guy in the middle where they see just a tall guy, and they're already gonna be scared going in, and then you, one of you guys, just. I get you. Uh, one of my favorite distraction monsters, um, or I use as a distraction, is uh, Snooky, Mrs. Not. The pie. The pie. <laughs> the pie lady. Yeah. yeah. She like. She, She's not only just a distraction. I've seen her move like a goddamn pinball in Fog Alley. Just boom, 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 boom. But sometimes, like in the beginning of the night, like she'll just be by the floodlight in, um, in Fog. Just eating when you're coming pie. in, just eating the pie. Just nom, 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 yeah. nom, nom. And I'm like, sick, because everyone's looking this way. They're looking at her. They're not looking what's behind her. Mm -hmm. Just come out, bam, get people. That's, like, I give respect to every aspect of um, Monster, every type of monster the slow moving the fast moving the sliders the creepy mm -hmm. the distraction artists the go-getters whatever it is we're getting the same reaction definitely we're doing the same thing you know you're just kind of doing it either faster or slower or in a, just in your own specific way everyone's different just be good at it mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah you mentioned uh, a little bit earlier about difficult consumers yeah. what do, how, how how do you that's a way of keep, putting it <laughs> yeah how do you uh, keep your composure with them uh it, it, it's kind of come with just being like repeatedly hit over the head with it um and honestly it's just like you get some but like the standard is a, a, a guest will come and try to scare you. They'll try to scream in your face. I don't like that. But. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, wow, you're doing the same thing that dude did or yeah. that chick did. You know, it's, it's whatever. You just got to be able to take a breath and just realize that, like, they're dumb. Yeah. <laughs> or they're trying to impress their whatever friends. girl they're yeah. there with, you know. They're trying to impress their friends. They're... Or they're drunk. <laughs> you know what? This year was the first year I I had, like, a few... A few adults that know exactly how to do taxes do something I've only seen like 13 and 14 year old kids do. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, but honestly, it's just like 
the con the, the pros outweigh the cons because yes like it's like i said if you're going to be dumb you got to be tough this isn't your standard job you know and it's kind of weird you dress up and you scare people it's not the norm it's fun it's amazing and i love it to death but it's 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 different so you're going to you you got to anticipate that not every guest is going to be the best guest ever yeah but there will be a good guest there are people that go that are super fans that have been for five years, 10 years, 15 years, maybe even 30, they show up and they live for this. You know, they, 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 they wait all year to go and they see some of their favorite monsters. They revisit some of their favorite mazes. And that's really cool because they're, they're there because they want to be. Yeah. And so you just pick up on that like, oh, okay, cool. Like you're vibing this, like this is fun for you. This is fun for me too. Yeah, you know, and those those are worth it. Those make you know the those guys, you know, kind of fade into the fog, and you're just like, I've got like I got a really good scare. Like I scared this person, their friends started laughing. Yeah, you know, it was great. What like, is uh, how do you how do you in, do you enjoy when someone tells you like oh that was a good scare, or when like a colleague tells you it was a good scare, <laughs> or you just see the reaction? Um. I just see their reaction and it's it's honestly it's just kind of like a like a sense thing like you you go and you scare and sometimes it's like oh yeah that was a great scare or like they just like <laughs> their friends just start talking mad shit on them you know <laughs> like you scare them they're like oh he got you but yeah yeah it's been a it's been a good season it really has um, and we've had tons of fun watching everybody work um, one of the last questions I want to ask you is, uh, if you had to choose another event to scare act for just for a day, what event would you choose and why? Um, Queen. Queen Mary? I go to Queen. Um, I just think that they're, they're really fucking punk rock. Yeah. Like, they're <laughs> just, it's almost like somebody unbeknownst to queen mary's you know staff set up this really cool spooky fucking carnival and they're i mean like it's in long beach and that's my hometown yeah um and i've i've heard horror stories and everyone has every haunt in Southern California has horror stories. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, I know Long Beach. <laughs> and <laughs> the crowd there is a little more rough. And they just look like they're having a blast. You know, they're just having j as much fun as they are capable of having. And I have a few friends there. I know um, there's a clown in Boardwalk that goes to uh, Queen every now and then, takes some time off during the run just to work there. And uh, a couple of haunt monsters have gone over to Queen. And it's just, I just thought it was really cool. I went for the first time two years ago. Mm -hmm. And there was just an overall feeling of fun and just terror. You know, like everyone's there. Because there's a cardinal rule where if you can't scare them, entertain them. Mm -hmm. If you can't entertain them, entertain yourself. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I feel like Queen is the embodiment of that. Yeah, we, uh, or at least I went twice this year. We got invited out to the media night, which was fun, and then cool. uh, my girlfriend took me again because she wanted to go, so that was a lot of fun. I mean, j I mean, just the captain alone. Is oh what, yeah, what sells me? The uh, and also the the ringmaster. The ringmaster, yeah. They the have ringmaster and the fucking cool character. <laughs> they do. They got and then uh, I think what really sold me and I, and I wanted to go last year. It was just due to money, but gotcha. Um, what really sold me was when I when I went to the midsummer screen panel last year. Okay. At Midsummer Scream, though, of course, I saw the captain. I'm like, this guy's fucking hilarious. Yes, he's hilarious. <laughs> I will he's literally go to this event just to see him. And yeah. then I showed up to the event, and literally, there were more people like him. They were freaking amazing talent. The mazes themselves, yeah. the ones on the ship at least, yeah. have an eerie feeling to them because the fact that you know that ship is it's past, it's haunted. Yeah. And it's a lot of the mazes are dark, so it's like, I, I remember hitting my head like so <laughs> many times because I'm so tall. I have to agree with that. <clears throat> I forget. I think it was a uh, lullaby we had gone through, and just going through the ship, there was a, just a, an offsetting silence. Yeah. And that was extremely unnerving. And they 
capitalized on that and they just utilized it and it got me like I just felt like I could feel like my hair sticking up I'm like I want to get out of this fucking room yeah. <laughs> yeah and they also have the only thing that will ever like my actual fear um and it was in was it Cupid something mm-hmm. it was back then but um the propeller uh I'm not sure if you if you went through this maze or this area but for one of the cues, it's in the the back of the ship, and you kind of do one of these numbers, but right here there's a huge opening. You look in and you can see the propeller of the ship. That's right. And like I looked at it and just my my equilibrium went off. I'm like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> like I just have this this fear of just huge things in water. Yeah. And no, I don't blame you. Yeah, and so I just like. I went with my friend, and she saw it, and she was like, nope, nope. I'm like, what? And I looked, and I'm like, why didn't you fucking say anything? <laughs> uh, I think it was B340 we walked oh, through. That one, too. Um, rules. There's a scene that, well, I, there was a big no-no for me, um, <laughs> which was the, the scene where you go onto the bridge, and they have that effect where it feels like it's going to collapse. Yeah, the drop bridge, and you're up so high, too. Yeah, and I'm afraid of heights as it is, and that happened. I'm a, I'm a big dude, too, and the two people I went with are probably like, combined they're not even my weight yet (laughs) and so they're having a fun time and that shit goes off and i i tell them go get the the fuck out of here right now i am (laughs) not doing this if this shit actually breaks we're fucking dead i be the same way you motherfuckers (laughs) you two are laughing have a good time i'm a big dude get me the fuck off this bridge um but no we just we we it was it was such a fun time that was the first year i've gone this year yeah and uh, i definitely will be going again next year uh, sure. Media or no media, because I just had a great time. I don't. I think our our schedules, Haunts and Queen Mary's, wind up similar. Yeah. I think what was it? Was there last night? Our last night too. I don't know what their last night. Yeah, was. their last night was your last. The, first, night, uh, yeah. the second. Okay. A lot of a lot of people try to wrap it up on that Saturday, just because so, yeah, they don't want to do it. Because uh, Haunt and Hayride was the same thing. Okay. They were done on a on a Saturday too. That's kind of a bummer. However, <laughs> they are all under the same one of the same companies too. Yeah. So I mean, I, yeah, that kind of makes sense. That's like the only thing. That's like the only thing that sucks is that like. Well, fortunately, I know Horror Nights opens a week before, most most of the other haunts. Mm-hmm. So we usually try and catch that before we open the following week. But that's we like we went to one. Horror Nights last night. We saw a lot of Nazi people last night. Yeah, yeah I com- I completely missed the memo. I didn't know that they were open to, uh, yesterday. So and like, like a lot, oh. of, like the, we saw one guy from the Hollows, and he like noticed me. Because of how many times we've gone, yeah, and like I was like, oh, that's really cool that they 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 know who we are, and <laughs> that was really cool. Well, AJ, it's been fun. Fellas, uh, we are been we, we've been we were really excited to have you on, and we're glad well, thank that you're you having me. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, um, we really appreciate all the work you've done this year, and we appreciate you guys. This is like the coolest thing that anyone's ever done for for us as scare actors. I figured I have the podcast. I might as well yeah. utilize. Uh, I've got some spare time. Yeah, I got the podcast. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, know, I can throw weeks. them a bone. It's fine. No, yeah, no. But I, I mean, I we've been wanting to, you know, get back on the podcast, and it's and we love having guests on the podcast, and we figure why not intertwine a, a podcast with Character Appreciation Month, and that way it gives them all the time in the world to like we can talk, tell stories, yeah. have a good time, and overall just bullshit, and uh, that's why we did this is because we just wanted to say thank you to you guys for putting on one of the greatest fucking shows in the world i don't care what people say this was one of the greatest uh, events i i had so much fun at this event and um it's a lot to do with you guys bringing the story to life you guys scaring the shit out of the guests you guys scaring the shit out of sammy if you guys got the chance even the nights I got scared. Were you easily? No, I'm, I'm, I'm such an easy scare. Oh, why didn't you say anything? <laughs> I thought you would see him sleeping on the bench at night. <laughs> I thought I did once. No, d- I definitely. Especially <laughs> towards the end of the season. So I'm letting you know now for yes. next season. Good to know. All right, cool. If you're actually walking through the floodlight and you slide in front of me, I'm done. Okay, good. <laughs> you won't floor me, but you will definitely get a... At least a face. That, that counts. Be like, oh. <laughs> no, that uh, counts. before we end it, though, what, two stories that was, if you want to know how bad he is. <laughs> Jackie and Ruth both got him sleeping on the bench. Oh, God. Jackie came up to him. Do you have footage of that? No. Why not? I, I, I was too in the moment of just having her trying to get him. Just well, just, the first time he tried to get The me. first time I tried, I, I slowly got up the bench. They were hiding right there by the statue, and I had informed him, and he woke up. 
<laughs> so the Life second gotta... time it happened, I was looking everywhere for like someone I knew, <laughs> and I didn't see. And then Jackie came out of the fog, and I was just like, "Hurry up!" <laughs> and then she just came out of nowhere and she went, "Bop!" And then he fucking jumped. And then the second time, I didn't even plan it. Fucking Ruth came out of nowhere and just giggled, and that scared the uh, shit out of me. Then she said, why are you sleeping? Yeah, why are you sleeping? He goes, I have to work in the morning. She goes, so do I. <laughs> and I was just laughing. We had, we had such a fun time. But That's good. Yeah, man. Uh, like I said, thank you again for not only being on the show, but for being who you are out in the streets of Ghost Town. Well, and thank you for having me, and thank you for, for coming in as, as, as guests oh, and we'll enjoying the show. We'll be there next year. So you guys don't know, by now, our next year's tour name. We had a tour name this year, by the way. Oh really? So we uh we because we went to so many haunts we we named our tour the All Hell Breaks Loose tour. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh Misfits I'm looking at you. Nice. Um, uh yeah, but so next year our tour's name the 2020 season is gonna be called Evil's My Friend Tour. Nice. Granted, I like that one. I'm looking at you. All right. Yeah. Uh, if you notice, I'm getting a lot of my shit from like music and stuff because that's just me. <laughs> yeah, that's good. So uh, catch us on the Evils My Friend tour. We're gonna probably be majority at knots again, um, getting our 2020 season pass on. And yeah, AJ, again, thank you. Uh, before we leave, do you want to plug any social medias in that you have for your character or anything? Uh, GTS dot Judas is his uh, personal Instagram. So if you, I guess, if you want to give him a follow, go ahead and do that. Um, there's a lot of other. Uh, really great talent accounts on Instagram. I can tell you this. Once you follow him, you'll get suggestions to follow all the yeah. freaking ghost town people. There's the bride. Uh, <coughs> Lucy and Billy have one. She Wolf has one. Orphan oh, has one. Gecko, the mummy. Merrick. Hostel. Merrick, all, yeah. oh, actually, Hostel doesn't. Hostel he just uses his, his yeah, personal he, I think he, Yeah, he uses his own account. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, there's there's plenty of other, other people. Even the, even the people on Boardwalk, they all have their yeah. accounts. Thread. Um, yeah. Joker. Is, yeah. All of them. Joker. Um, so yeah, go give them all a follow. Yeah. If you want to keep up with what they're doing, I'll haunt. They usually put up a post every week uh, hyping up the events like, here goes week six, here we go yeah. again. Um, and that was something that always got me pumped uh, going into haunt every week was seeing your guys' post as to week six, uh, yeah. we'll see you in the fog and stuff. And uh, What was the saddest one was the last night and then that Sunday when you just saw the farewell posts. Yeah, and, that was you... always the, it's it's bittersweet. It's uh, it, it 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 sucks that it's ending, but my limbs appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> it sucks, but at the same time, you're like, I need a little break. Yeah, yeah. I'll be, I'll be, not a hundred percent next season, but you know, I'll be, I'll be a good ninety eight, yeah. ninety five. I'll get somewhere within the vicinity yeah. of like seventy five. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll be there. I'll be able to walk. I'll be able to yeah. walk. I'll get to the audition room. <laughs> yeah. From there, I'm not sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, Judas again. It's been a pleasure, and we, thank you guys. again, yeah. thank you for coming on. Thank you for coming all the way out. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, follow us on Instagram, on Twitter. Follow us on Patreon as well if you guys are feeling very generous enough to uh, support that. And we will see you guys on the next episode of Scare Actor Appreciation Month. Thank you so much. Peace. Peace.